because you know what? You're dealing with a Canadian woman right now, and I will leap across this table and punch you right in your For what? Because you're the one who's Because you're a ignorant prick, <laughs> is what you are. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> me, eh? Oh, my God. For what? Go back to your we don't, don't say you like here. that is big, just, you know just as big. Excuse me? Just as big. Don't say like that. Relax. We all Excuse can me? Relax. Excuse me? Excuse me? Don't speak I was that. born and raised you here. Relax. Why does it have to be so big, the situation? Why you cannot in eliminate the situation right at the spot? Uh, the only information we had at that time was a fight in progress. And on weekends, we get a lot of those types of calls. Upon arrival, the two groups had already been separated by the Denny's staff. Our officer spoke to the manager at Denny's, uh, who briefed him on the situation, and uh, he opted to exercise his ability to have both groups removed. Uh, so we stood by to keep the peace as, as he exercised that option. Both groups did leave voluntarily. And this is where that context is so important, because the initial call comes in at approximately 12.50 uh, uh, a.m. Our officer is on scene at 12.52 a.m., so two minutes later. At uh, 1 o'clock, the group of four leave, and at 1.05, the husband and wife leave. So when you look at the totality of that event and the, the information we had, fight in progress, we're there to help support any staff to restore peace and order into their establishment. That context is so important. Three weeks later, the video surfaces with a lot of detail. And those details went viral after Monier posted the video to his Facebook profile. And as a result, the woman in the video identified as Kelly Poka from Cranbrook, B.C., lost her job at a car dealership. I don't want somebody to lose their job. I feel horrible about it at the same time. But at the end of the day, we have to learn a lesson, right? And the four young men, all immigrants from Afghanistan, were not expecting to learn such a big lesson that night. Monier says he and his friends were playing video games and made a deal that whoever lost would be responsible for their late-night snacks bill. Once they arrived at Denny's, he says they were laughing about their friend paying for the whole thing when the tension rose unexpectedly. We're sitting at the back right there, and she's facing towards the wall, and then we're four of us. There's a table, two people sitting here, two people sitting here, basically. So when it's sitting like that, and then, I mean, it doesn't make sense. How would she know that we were glaring at her? I, that's the part that doesn't make sense. Because if we were glaring at her, how would she know that we were glaring at her? I, I, I just don't understand. I don't get it because she was not facing us. Omar Zai has been here for 13 years and he says he works hard as an immigrant. He owns a car shop to make ends meet and says his experience in Canada has been great until now. That woman does not represent Canada for me. I see more and more into Canada. There is way better places. There is way better people with the smile on their faces and answering you with the, with the bottom of their heart and they're not saying anything to you about it. Police Chief Rob Davis says the true hero is the one who spoke up. There's somebody off camera who stands up to the lady in question. And I think as a society that's where we need to go. We don't need to shove these things into the judicial system. If we as a society stand up for one another and stand up for what's right in this country, I think that's the step in the right direction. And I, you don't see her in the video, uh, but you hear this lady, a lady in the background, confronting uh, the one that's hurling the insults. And I think as a society, that's where we need to stick up. We need to stick up for one another as a society in Canada. 